So most of you that decide to start out with Blender will probably suck at modeling shit and suck even more at lighting. It seems like a really simple thing that just sort of does the work by itself. Like, you know, you go to the light tab and you click sun because it's the only word there that you know the meaning of and wow, your scene is done. But wait, there's like five other types of lighting that you've never heard of in your life and what the fuck is a HDRI? And why the fuck is what the f- why the- why, why- how the fuck- So your main types of lights are gonna be your point, sun, spot, and area lights. The point light is literally just a singular point, it's pretty much just a light bulb. You'll very rarely use it, honestly, I don't remember the last time I've used it in the last five years. The sun is... Uh, I mean, it's the fucking sun. The spotlight is the same shit you've seen in the movies, it's a light with a conical shape, which means the radius of the light increases with distance, but so does the fall off, so good luck with that one. And the area light is pretty much the same shit as the point light, except the light isn't a single point and it's actually distributed over the surface of a plane, so it's actually nothing like the point light. Each of these lights have preview, light, animation, and custom property settings. You're never gonna use three out of four of these settings, so just ignore everything except the light settings. At the top, you can switch between the types of light in case you're bipolar or just stupid. The color is the color of the fucking light. I don't think I need to explain that part. And the power is your intensity. So higher means flashbang and lower means you're going the wrong way. The point and spotlights have a radius setting, which means circle of light go bigger, but lightness of light go less light. The area light has a size setting, which is literally the exact same thing. And it also has a shape setting where you can choose if the light is a square, rectangle, disc, or ellipse. Uh, I've never used this setting in my life. Now below this there's a shadow and influence tabs. So we're not touching either of them because I've never used them in my life. When you go to render a scene, you can either do it in cycles or in EV. Both of them treat light differently, it just depends on what you want. EV is what's called a real-time rasterization engine, which if you've used Photoshop before, then every hair on your body would have stood up when I said rasterization. But all it means is that you'll see all the changes you make actually happen while you make them because it favors speed over quality. Cycles, on the other hand, will take three hours to render a single shadow, but it'll look slightly better in comparison to EV. The main difference between cycles and EV is ray tracing. I'm not bothered explaining what that is or how it works, so take this ChatGPT example instead. Anyways, the lighting quality will slightly change depending on which engine you use. If you want still images, use cycles, and if you want animations, use EV. You can use either of them for either purpose, but honestly, if you try rendering an animation in cycles, your great grandkids are gonna be watching it before you do. <laughs> Do you want to light your scene but aren't bothered to learn how to use any of the default blender lights? Use HDRIs. HDRIs are high dynamic range images. You don't need to know what that means. All you need to know are these three websites, which I've also linked in the description, because when you go to them and download, for example, f f f f f furry, what the fuck? You can now go to your shading tab and switch to world, add an environment section node and put that shit in there, and now you've achieved basic lighting without even trying. For bonus points, enable the node ring light on, and then press Ctrl T with the texture selected, and now you can change the rotation of the texture to get the lighting you want. Emission lighting will single-handedly be the saving grace for anything that you do. Look at this forest scene that took me a whole five and a half hours to make. It's fucking disgusting, right? Like, like what, what am I even looking at? Put literally anything in the middle and turn off the emission and holy fuck, I just pissed myself out of excitement. Now, if you really want to level up your scene, you're going to use volumetrics. That's just a fancy way of saying you're going to add a shit ton of fog and pray that it works. Put your entire scene into a cube and then go to your shading tab, replace the principal BSCF with the volume scatter and then put the density to about 0 0.05. Your lights are going to look better, your crush is going to like you back, your parents are going to get back together. Volumetrics fix literally everything. Different Different lights have different effects when they're used with the fog. Spotlights, for example, give a very obvious shape with a clear contrast. Point lights do literally exactly what you would expect them to do. Area lights do the exact same thing but better. And the sun just lights up the entire thing unless you have multiple objects in your scene, in which case they'll just cast a lot of rays. All this shit is kind of boring, but if you use it creatively, you can make it not boring. For example, you can put some holes in a plane and shine an area light through it, and now you have god rays. Uh, that's um, th that's literally the only trick that I know. H have fun.